God, why? I, I can't figure out this reason why I haven't been making enough videos lately. L let me try and think for a second. <sighs> Alright, finally home. I can't wait to go inside and finally make that new video. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Let's go sit down finally. Get this video done. Woo! Huh. You know... I, I I think I have other plans actually. I'm I'll do a video later. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess, guess I got, <laughs> guess I got a little distracted. <laughs> uh, kill me. Alright, so how's it going guys today? My name is Pokeballer Luke and welcome to the first video in like seven years. Luckily I know you guys are cool enough to where my channel's not gonna be dead. Uh, uh, oh god, god damn it, I only got two views on this video. Okay, but uh today we're doing another Pokemon rant. I was thinking, I was like, it's been a minute since we did a Pokemon rant, right? We need to do another one. So I was like, oh, what Pokemon should we rant on? Let me just ask my subscribers. And so I asked you guys on Twitter between Vicavolt or a t Toxapex. And uh, by a ton, Toxapex won, actually. But I started to think, and I was like, you know, no, no, I'll just show you guys right now. This is what a Toxapex rant would look like. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Pokeballer Luke here today. And today, guys, I I hate Toxapex. Toxapex is a stupid, bad Pokemon. I'm, I'm, today, I'm going to tell you why to Toxapex is a bad Pokemon. And I'm going to use self-deprecating humor because I'm not funny. And so I just have to make fun of myself because I'm a shit. YouTuber. But no, guys, guys, uh, Toxapex is a stupid Pokemon. You see, look at those stats and how big that defense is. Whoa! That's a big defense! Those defenses are so big that the defenses, them being big, is just so annoying. And because of those big defenses, when people use them in Pokemon battle, it's like, it's like hard to attack. And then it used the stall, so it's like so hard to kill and you can never kill it because it's using the stall. You are defensive in a pretty good Pokemon. Maybe a little bit too good, I don't like it. Alright guys, that's the video. Remember to like and subscribe and like and subscribe. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please guys, please, 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 follow me on Twitter. And also, by the way, uh, like and subscribe. Alright, have a great day guys, and I'll see you all later. Peace, peace, like, and subscribe. See, it's like I make fun of my self-deprecating humor, but that in itself is also self-deprecating humor. I think I'm just a shit YouTuber. I, f I did it again. But no, guys, today we're not going to be talking about Toxic Pecs because I figured there wasn't enough I could say about it. But instead, we're going to be talking about Vicavolt. Now, from the surface, right, Vicavolt, it actually looks awesome. Everyone, everyone was so excited about Vicavolt when it was originally announced. I mean, here, let's just ask some of these, some of these actual customers. Oh, yeah, when I, when I saw Vicavolt, I was like, wow, that... That done here is a good Vic Vault. Oh, when I saw the Vic Vault, I was like, oh my god, that is a cute Pokemon. Yep, when I saw that Vic Vault, I knew I could s saddle that m motherfucker up and go milk a cow. Like, everyone was like, yo, Vic Vault is sick. It's got this cool design. It's electric bug that's sick. This is going to be the first, like, bug beginning Pokemon that's going to be actually worth something. And man, <laughs> man were we wrong. You look at Vicavolt, right, and you're like, what is this Pokemon gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be a fast, you know, attacker, right? That's what it, that's what it looks like. No, you're so absolutely wrong. Got my iPad, and we're now gonna look at Vicavolt's stats on them. Okay, so off the bat, you see Vicavolt's highest stat is its special attack, which is 145. Now, that's, like, actually outstanding. But its speed is 43. Uh, let me put that into perspective for you. A Bulbasaur... It has 45 base speed. That's two points faster than a Vicavolt. And that's what I don't understand. This thing looks like it would be so fast and it just upsets me how, how much it let me down really. And I'm gonna get some things out of the way real quickly. <coughs> I have osteoporosis. No, that's not even funny. I'm not, not putting that in the video. I think Vicavolt has one of the coolest designs of all the Pokemon in Generation 7. I don't actually hate Vicavolt as much as I'm gonna say so. I think Vicavolt is creative. And I know that there's definitely some uses it could be put to. Obviously, you can use Trick Room, which if you don't know, it makes slower Pokemon go faster than fast Pokemon. But that that really isn't it. Like, I think Vicavolt has a cool design, like I said, and I know there are uses for it, but it's not what we expected, and it was a huge letdown, really. Alright, that's enough of me trying to act mature. Let's go back to acting like a bitch. On top of it all, Vicavolt is pretty much 
unable to be used in game. There is absolutely no point of having a Vikavolt on your team in Pokemon Sun and Moon. To me, it's just, it's really not worth it at all. Oh, Luke, you silly fool. Why should you not have a Vokavolt on your team, my brother? All right, so you catch a Charger Bug early in the game, so you're like, oh, I can get a Vikavolt pretty early on. That's pretty sick. Oh, it evolves level 20 into Charger Bug. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, what is, when's it going to evolve into Vikavolt? Maybe, 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 maybe level 30? Level 35? I mean, that's, that's a lot for a bug Pokemon, but hey, I, you know, I'll do it for a Vikavolt. Like, it looks pretty cool. Why am I why am I still riding this horse? It's really slow. Um, no, unfortunately though, you're not gonna be getting your Vikavolt at level 30, nor level 35, and hell, your Charger Bug might even get to level 100 before it even evolves. And this is what ruins Vikavolt the most for me. I can live with not stats that like aren't that great, right? We've seen it before, but you can make it work in a Let's Play. And hell, like I said, you can even make it work competitively if you want. You are unable to evolve your Charger Bug into a Vikavolt until you make it to the Vast Pony Canyon. Pony Island is the fourth island of the game, and you get there very late game. So Game Freak, let me, let me just make sure we have this straight. You want me to walk around with the Metapod of this generation. You want me to walk around with a school bus. You want me to walk around with the Pokemon version of a Lego brick until I get to the fourth island. Yeah, I mean, I, pff, hey, it might not just be me, but I think that's completely asinine and ruins the Pokemon for a lot of people. The whole point of bug Pokemon in general are that they're supposed to be the ones that tend to evolve earlier. Obviously, there are exceptions like Volcarona, but Volcarona is an amazing Pokemon, and Vikavolt, eh, not so much. And it, uh, it, it makes, it makes me sad. It really does. You know, Vikavolt, like I said, I thought it was going to be one of the coolest Pokemon of the generation. I wanted to use one on my team, of course. But there's just no point. It's not worth having a Charger Bug on your team. And I mean, hell, I showed you guys Vikavolt stats. What do you think Charger Bugs look like? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm way too lazy to put them on the screen or anything, so you can just imagine what they are. If you love Vikavolt, that's okay, dude. I'm not going to hate you. Hell, like I said, dude, I like Vikavolt a lot, too. I just think it's a huge letdown, really. It had the potential to be one of the coolest and most unique Pokemon of the 7th generation, but it really ended up being kind of kind of shitty, really. But if you use Vikavolt, vi, 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 what the f is a Vikavolt? If you use Vikavolt, you know, to each their own. If you love Vikavolt, to each their own. We all have opinions, and obviously, I've said this a million times before. No one's opinion is like fact. That's the point of opinions. They're supposed to be argued against. They're supposed to, like we had, we debate our opinions. The whole point of opinions and freedom of thought in our free will is the fact that we don't all have the same opinions. In every Pokemon rant I ever make, I get a ton of bullshit hate, right? People talking about like, Oh my god, I love Solandit, he is so cool. Stop it, dude, stop making me feel bad, I still love Solandit. Like, fucking congratulations, bro, like, go suck your own dick. Solandit, oh, holy shit, a fuck. What is this? I totally just called this guy having a Solandit. I, I didn't even realize he would. Oh my god. But yeah, I get like all these hates whenever I rant or talk about a Pokemon. And I want you guys to know, I, I like every Pokemon. There's not a single Pokemon I hate. I except for Spritzy. And if you like Spritzy, just unsubscribe because I don't want you to be here really. But yeah, you know, we all have our own opinions. And most of my videos are, are just, just for satire, I guess. They're just jokes. I, you know, Vikavolt's cool, whatever. I don't care if you use a Vikavolt. I'm not going to use a Vikavolt because I don't... I don't really I, th I think it's disappointing and yeah that is gonna be the video guys I hope y'all enjoy we're gonna have a new pokey quiz this week not that n no one cares what am I talking about um yeah have a great day guys and I'm out peace peace